The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All righty, folks. Come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And I hope you're having a uh, fantastic uh, trading day out there. We've had plenty of volatility and uh, a lot going on to hopefully uh, keep your account of uh, having uh, plenty of chances to make some money in the process. Uh, looking on over here, checking out the news for today. And let me see, what do I got right going on? But uh, we know, obviously we have the Chinese um, issue still alive and well. Um, let's see here. All right. And uh, so Chinese issue still alive and well. Uh, we had the official bank rate coming on out this morning um, over here. And let's see, what else do we got going on? Um uh, we had our official baker down in the pound with the unemployment claims come on out. And let's see, last night we also had the unemployment rates come out on the Aussie dollar. So we could check all of that, pull those charts up, and uh, see what we can make of it. As far as where the markets are at right now, I'll give you a quick uh, what's time market wrap. We got the S&P is currently up 14 points right now. Uh, of course, everything going everywhere today. We got the Dow is up 107. Russell is up 7. NASDAQ is up 28 points. So uh, getting some up move on this. Everybody guessing, trying to figure out where things are going. Gold decided to move down right now, down a point and a half. Uh, we got copper in positive territory. We have oil bouncing on up about buck 30 today. And uh, natural gas also uh, slightly positive on uh, inventory day here. We'll get on over at our ags. We got corn up 5.75. We got soybeans up 31 and a half. A big, big move in soybeans. And I believe we have an ag report Friday, so don't forget about that. Uh, we'll get over at bonds. Bonds are down right now, down uh, 1.22 there. And the dollar index is up 0.278. Your dollar is down 54 pips, down to 1.1019, hovering right around that 1.1 thousand level over and over. Um, and we got the Euro Yen is uh, down a mere pip today. Uh, we got the pound, uh, Euro Pound down 33 pips. Uh, pound Dollar is currently up 7. Pound Yen is up 112 after being down like 450 yesterday. It was an insane move. We have the Euro, US Yen up 56, Aussie Yen up 49. You can almost only just expect a bounce after a drop like that. Um, and, of course, if you're going to expect it, try it. Uh, always do it carefully so you don't catch the falling knife and use something like Nadex with defined risk. We have the Aussie dollar up four pips. We got the dollar franc up 18. Dollar CAD currently down 21 pips on the day. Um, let's see here. And so that gets you your current lunchtime market wrap. Um, and let's go ahead over here. Let's look at... Where we're at on our news for the weekend, we're going to pull up a couple charts in this process. And like I said, let's go through and we'll look at a few of the different ones. Let me go ahead and let me get a couple things I want to add on here. I want to look at uh, volume while we're going through this. And so we'll go ahead and add in our expected volume. Okay. And so we'll put that on the chart. We'll make sure we have our history on that as well. And I always like to have a little drawing tool. Anytime I'm doing anything, I want to go ahead and add a toolbar shortcut for that. And that at least give us a, a minimum baseline. And then let's see if we can get, see, I didn't do a refresh yet on my computer for this, but we'll try it. We'll see if deviations will load on up for us. Um, and then like I said, we'll go through, we have a few different things I want to explore with you today. And see what maybe we can, you know, if we see any trading opportunities, but at a minimum, go back and do some of the news reviews with you on these trades. And so right here, going into that. 
And I pulled up my new trading plan. Yeah, I thought I might have to without the restart. Um, okay, so we'll come back. I'll get on that here. I'll do that during the break. No big deal. Let me just remove it off the screen so it's not annoying. Okay. All right. And now let's bring up the announcements because we talked about a few of them yesterday, and I just wanted to... You know, go through our plan and do a review on that, see how everything stacked up. We'll thin these bars out and make them look a little uh, easier to read. Maybe zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay. So uh, last night, let's see, let's uh, look at the Aussie dollar, make sure I got my connection live on there. I do. So let's hop on over to the Aussie and look at the uh, report we had last uh, was coming out this evening on that home report we had the employment change last night tonight we're gonna have the home loans um, coming on out on the Aussie and we were looking for a uh, potential uh, butterfly on this trade uh, looking at a probably a 6 to 11 potential trade setup and for 6 p.m. to an 11 p.m. trade. And we got a pretty big amount of movement. I mean, it was definitely uh, volatile. Let's see. Uh, let's measure that movement from beginning to end. And let's see if it stayed even with uh, that volatility, uh, how we stayed inside of our expectations. So we're going right over here to 6 o'clock Eastern time. Okay. And then we're going to take that measurement. We're going to go ahead and take it to 11 o'clock. So right over here to 2300 and that'll put us right there on the close. Put it on the right bar. There we go. All right, we got 30 pips. So as big as that looks, it was 30 pips. And we said we wanted 35. There we go. Uh, not, you know, not a great trade, not a bad trade. Uh, basically it means we made five bucks on the trade, okay? Um, you know, for on one contract, you know, if you're doing 10, you made, you know, 50, if you're doing 100, you made 500. But, um, basically we're just expecting you to stay within 35 pips for every pip that is less than that on the movement. Then we are actually able to capture, um, $5 on the trade. Now, if it flies down, you may actually be able to take profit on your, um, and this is where the advanced trade management comes in. Um, if it does fly down. And you're able to take profit on the short. So if you went in here and basically you sold a spread, let me sort of show you how this works, okay? Let's say you sold, you know, a spread up here. And then what happens is the market drops. And you take, you're able, let's just say you're able to take profit on that sold spread. If you are, then when it flies back up, you're able to take profit on the long spread. And you actually could make, you know, you may not, yet you may actually make more money than you would have if you held its expiration, um, because you captured profit on the way down, you captured profit on the way up. In this case, you lost money on the sold one, and it, some of the money on the bought one that you did covered the money on the sold contract that you lost. And um, I'll bring up some iron condors here before we wrap up this news piece, and I'll show you. Um, you know, examples of uh, putting them on and how they actually work. But basically, we're just buying a box below the market, selling a box above the market. Okay, so that takes care of our employment change report. That report was that is, was profitable. So, um, and let's see here. I guess while we're on the Aussie, why don't we go ahead and look at any other? We had one other Aussie report this week. We had the cash rate. And uh, a little bit more dangerous time with all the stuff that was going on, but we'll go back over. We'll still look at it. And let's see. This is a cash rate. It was coming out on the 7th in the early morning hours. We're looking for a 12 to 2. So, and we said that we expected it to stay within a 30 pip range off of the cash rate. And so if we go to 12 and we take that to 2 a.m. from earlier this week, we got... A 20 pip range, so you know we made uh, basically 33% of the maximum potential profit on that trade. 
and uh, that trade was profitable. So it just knocks out the assets, both trades this week on the Aussie. Uh, if I go over, I look at, okay, we got, uh, again, there's two more Aussie trades tonight, or there's one more Aussie trade tonight, and there's a pound trade tonight. The other Aussie trade tonight is going to be the home loans. We're looking for a $30 profit. And again, that's using the Nadex spreads. We're buying the lower spread. We're selling the upper spread. And we want the combined maximum profits between the two trades. Because, like, when you buy the contract, it says, here's the max profit. With the max profit between both contracts to be no less than 30 bucks. And usually, the you know, they're touching. The strikes are touching. So, on the floor and ceiling. And um, I'll show you, again, an example here in just a moment. And uh, basically, it's like a little up-down pyramid, upside-down pyramid on a, or I guess it looks like a right-side-up pyramid, on a, um, with just the, the apex of the pyramid being on the top to grab that profit. Um, let's see. Let's go on over. Let's look at the pound report from this morning. Open that up. And um, I guess we can just take a little glance here. We're uh, bouncing right off our um, high volume value ice zones right now. Um, let's see here. You can see, let's see, what's the price action today? We came on down. We hit the uh, high volume zone yesterday. Keep uh, oscillating around that point of control on back up to the high volume area up here, came on up to yesterday's high, busted through yesterday's high, came back down to yesterday's high, busted right back through it on exceeding volume, okay? And it took a little bit because it came down, had some exceeding volume right there, but then popped back up and finally get some exceeding volume, pushing it on down. It goes right back through the uh, upper ice level, right back to point of control, flies on back up, back up to yesterday's high. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just perfect. Uh, Trading, just to show you the zones exactly where it's going to. Each time it's moving up right now, where do we expect it to move up to? If it continues to move on up, we're going to expect it to go up right now to yesterday's high. That's been a, a solid um, zone right there, 74.57. That's one of many magnet levels that you want to be aware of. And uh, that's where, you know, the, the upper zone, it hasn't came back yet down to point of control. But uh, so they're really the two, you know, the two points. Uh, just looking at a live Aussie dollar for you right now, trying to give you some ideas. Uh, uh, as we're looking for a move either up right here during the session on up to seven, four, five, eight, or um, which right now that's looking positive. Uh, and we're getting some volume exceeding expectations at the moment, giving it a little bit of extra strength. If it does decide to reverse, we'd be looking for a move on back down to seven, four, one, six. And I'd be looking for one of those two zones to be hit by the end of the day. And so you could look at uh, a couple possibilities. You could look at strangles, you could look at iron butterflies, you could look at uh, straddles, you could look at iron condors, or you could just buy an out of the money contract. We'll be, wow, that was loud. We'll be back right after this. There, there. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. 
In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. All right, we'll come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And so we're just looking at a couple of uh, possible setups on uh, the Aussie dollar. And running on over here, uh, I wanted to dive into the pound dollar with you now that we've uh, covered those potential setups for you. Like I said, you got strangle, straddles, condor spreads, a lot of different ways uh, that you can take advantage of the market. Let's go in now. Let's check out, like I said, the pound dollar. And uh, we'll look at the reports that came out from it. And okay, so now we have the pound dollar on up, and the report from this morning was the official bank rate. And we're looking for a 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. trade. So let's go ahead and measure that movement on uh, what we got. Coming on over here to pull the handy little ruler and go for the 6 a.m. Okay, take that on over to 8 o'clock. And we got a 7-pit move. We were looking for a 30-pit move. That means we basically got a, a large percent of our profit. We got 23 pips out of the 30-pip uh, minimum profit goal that we wanted. Uh, minim the minimum amount of maximum profit. <laughs> and uh, so we're looking for, you know, ideally somewhere as close to 30 pips as we can get. We know it's going to be a little bit less because rarely is it going to land this flat. And so that's a very successful trade. Pop down, popped up. And... Um, did exactly what we laid out we expected to happen today so uh hopefully you followed along there and uh that like i said that one worked out 
Uh, let's see. A uh, reminder for you tonight: we got the uh, pound dollar trade balance report again. An iron condor and uh, buying the lower spread, selling the upper spread, entering as early as 11 o'clock for the 7 o'clock expiration. So we entering as early as 11 for the 7 a.m. expiration. All right, so now that we have uh, that trade, and again, a minimum profit of $35 on this record. Uh, and again, it's 11 p.m. entry for 7 a.m. expiration. All right, so uh, that gets us caught up there. Uh, tomorrow morning, there is one trade you need to have on your list. So let's go ahead and make sure you got that one. We got the Dollar Cat Employment Change Report, and that's entering at uh, 7 a.m. for a 9 a.m. expiration, and we're looking for a $35 minimum profit on it, okay? Um, so put that one on your books. Uh, we have, And then uh, to get you caught up until my show next week here, we got a variety of pound reports coming on out. And uh, so on Monday, Monday you're going to have uh, the pound dollar uh, condor. Um, it's going to have a 1 p.m. entry on Monday evening. Um, let's see here going on into, uh, yeah, 4.30 on 2. Okay, so yeah, yeah Monday evening, 1 p.m. Uh, to 7 a.m., Okay, um, for a minimum profit of $35 profit on that trade. And that's uh, just a variety of reports. C CPI, PPI, RPI, Core, CPI, HPI, PPI output. All those usually amount to a whole lot of squat. And uh, so we're looking for $35 uh, minimum profit on that condor. Tuesday, we got a Euro dollar condor on um, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Looking for 30 bucks uh, minimum profit on that one. Again, that's entering at 8 for 10 a.m. And that's trading off a variety of reports on the euro dollar, core retail sales, retail sales, and import prices. Going into uh, next uh, Tuesday evening, we're going to have the uh, pound uh, various ports, 4.30 o'clock. Again, 11 to 7, looking for $40 minimum profit. Okay? $40 minimum profit on that trade. And uh, a couple more for you to get you caught up, like I said, to the next show here. Uh, 7 to 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Got a euro dollar trade. Uh, working for $25 minimum profit, entering at 7 for a 9 a.m. expiration. You got the PPI, the core PPI, and the state manufacturing index. Only $25 minimum that we're seeking on that. We expect it to be a very, very flat uh, period right there. We got a U.S. capacity utilization coming out, and that'll add a little bit of volatility in that last hour going past that. So between 8 and 10 a.m., we're looking for a $30 minimum profit on those reports. Um, also, starting at 9 a.m., so it's like 7 a.m., there's one, okay? 9 a.m., there's one. Right, and the 9 a.m., the CAD is going to have some big reports. We actually expect it to move pretty big um, on the CAD. And they have their monetary policy, Baker rate statement, overnight rate, all that coming out. Uh, use a little caution on the previous trade, the 8 to 10, uh, due to that coming out. But it's going to come out at 10 o'clock. So we're going to be out of this trade, the capacity utilization trade, by the time the Canadian statement comes out. Okay, so that's a big benefit. Uh, so... Anyways, before it comes out, we're actually going to, we're going to look for a straddle. We don't look for a lot of straddles, okay? But we're going to look for a straddle for a $40 straddle and because uh, we're expecting the market to move, you know, at least, you know, 80 pips or so on this trade. So uh, look for that trade. I go and look for a one-to-one -one and a maximum risk of 40 bucks on that trade. All right, stay right there. We'll be back right after this. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're going back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. And uh, we're going through, we're just looking at different charts right now and like i said putting pieces together and checking out uh different trades i went through and i talked to you about a variety of trades uh today and it uh, looks like right now we're moving on back down right to point of control we're uh, right there at one point five six three two on the ice and uh it's gonna have to hit with some hard volume um to really bust through that That'll be bringing us on back down. If it does, uh, we'll be looking down at 1.5328. And uh, we'll see if it uh, can, you know, move past that or it's going to be stuck on that. And, uh, but it looks like uh, that was the low of what yesterday as well as the uh, lower point of control. If not, we then uh, just expect some oscillation, another bounce like we had early this morning on the pound dollar where it popped right on back up. And we can look at this to see here if... Uh, I need to do, I know, a toolkit update, but I want to see. I got all this beta stuff on there I'm always trying out. Let's see if uh, this works for me. If not, then I'll just have to do a toolkit update on the next break. Uh, and if that does, we can I'll check it with the deviations. But I know that uh, we're making a couple updates, and there's another version I haven't updated to yet that may fix it for me. Um, make things a little bit more clear. So uh, we'll look at that again and see how it's going. 
Okay, yeah, they're just not coming up right now. So I do have to update my toolkit to the new one. But um, anyway, so it's coming on right down to that point of control. And, you know, of course, I do publish those deviation levels for you as well each and every day inside the scanner. So you can check that out. And uh, let's go through and go, okay, well, if we'll get up this trade, what can we do with it? Like, let's have a little fun right now. And uh, let's pull up some contracts. Okay. And see what we got. So we got the pound dollar. And so I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to pull the pound dollar off. And look at the spreads and what is possible right on that. So on the spreads, uh, if we're looking at the pound dollar, we're trying to decide a trade. Um, one, we could look and see, hey, is there an iron condor? Okay. So we could select these contracts and see an iron condor on it. Let's see if that'll pop up for me. Um, Okay, and so we select the spreads there, we get that iron condor, and we also, we go, okay, so um, yeah, probably not an iron condor I want to do, I mean, it makes five bucks, so to explain to you why is that an iron condor, basically because I'm positive premium on both contracts. The market's at 53.62 right now, okay, and I can buy this contract at 53.57. Okay, so that's like five, six dollars below where the market's trading. I'm buying lower than the market. And this is like when people get this, it's like, aha, I get it now. You know, they go in, I can buy five or six dollars below the market. If I can buy below the market and the market stays where it is and settles where it is, then I'll make six bucks because I bought it lower, it settled higher. If I can sell above the market, okay. And in this case, 53, you know, 75, the market's at 53, 63. It's actually 11 ticks higher than the market right now. That's what proximity is showing, 11 ticks higher than the market. But I can sell it, you know, basically five bucks above the floor at 53.75. The market stays flat at 53.63. I sold at 53, you know, 75. So I'm going to make all that premium up to the maximum, you know, possible profit on the trade. And so, I mean, that's that's a really tiny iron condor. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of profit to be made in it. But, uh, you know, it definitely is profit on that that you can check out. And let's see. Uh, what else do we got? How can we take advantage of this? Let's look at that next. Let's see. Uh, let's look at a short. So if we wanted to short it, we want to go ahead and go down. This one doesn't have a lot of profit for us. Uh, this one right here really has a, a nice low risk, a $16 risk, a lot of profit potential. Just got to move about eight pips. Is that good or bad? Well, the way I judge that is, well, how far do I expect it to move? Okay. So, uh, you know, low risk uh, spread is not a bad spread. As long as you understand it really needs to move. We got about 32 pips of potential movement built in right here. So we can go in here with a $17 risk trade and put that trade on and let's see here okay that's it there we go i was trying to get the chart up earlier and um <laughs> got it now all right um let's see here and let's make sure we're doing what we're wanting to do okay so if we go over here put that contract on that opens a position up for us Okay, and I can tear off the uh, open position. We can even open a few contracts if we wanted to. So I can do you know, a quick instant submit and just hit the button a few times. And uh, there we go. So pretty simple. Okay, we've got a highlight on the sides here. That'll stop from moving back and forth on me. Um, anyway, so that puts that uh, trade on. I go on and put on four contracts. If I wanted to you know, equalize in size, I could put on more. Uh, now again, it may just pop down a little bit below this point of control and work on retracing on back up. So we could also look at possibilities on the long side. So that gave us like a short side position, okay? And uh, with that short side position, like I said, there's a lot of ways we can do it. Um, and you know, I can go over here and I can go, you know what? Let's do 
maybe six more, you know, contracts on that. We'll do like 10 of them. Okay. So we do 10 contracts. We go in and I've already got, you know, four on, throw six more on there. And, um, that gives me, you know, live open positions. And, you know, on the trade. Okay. Uh, so I went short and some people think like, oh, I can never go short on, you know, contracts that are, you know, low risk. You know, I can't use the low risk contract because they get so caught up in me saying, hey, tight proximity. Well, remember, we were within less than 10 ticks. And that's my big rule is I like it to be less than 10 ticks proximity when I choose a trade. Unless it's like an in the money trade and I'm collecting premium. Then, of course, the higher the proximity, the better. Right. But. Um, if it's out of the money trade, and me or out of you know when I say out of the money, I mean more of you know selling below the market because I'm selling this contract. You know, the market's at 53.58, and I'm selling at 53.53. I'm selling five ticks below the market. So if the market stays flat, I'm going to lose five dollars on ten contracts. I'm going to lose basically 50 bucks on the trade if it just stayed flat and did nothing. Okay. Um, if it goes up, I mean I don't have a lot of risk here on this trade. This is a pretty low risk trade. Okay. And so what does happen if the market goes up? All right. How does the spread thing actually work? And so uh, we, already, you know, we already got the calculated risk showing for you. Um, but let's do the math just so you understand the math. If I go short a contract, so I got an average price of 1.5352. Okay, so 1.5352. And the ceiling is 1.5370. That's the upper side, the ceiling right there. Okay. It's the upper strike. 1.5352. So I'm going to minus that from the ceiling. 1.5370. 18 pips. Every pip on Nadex. Okay. Every single pip, tick, whatever, is your risk is $1. Okay. So $1 is what every pip's worth. So I have 18 pips of risk on the trade. One of the beautiful things is that's also my margin. Okay, this is like doing literally, okay, it's a dollar a pip, a dollar a tick, okay? Well, if you did this over on, say, Thinkorswim or FXCM or, you know, name your FX broker, okay? You're going to put up a lot more than 18 bucks to get a mini lot. And you're going to go, well, how's this equal to a mini lot? It's a dollar a pip. Okay, you're going to be putting up a whole lot more. How much more would you be putting up to do the trade? So first, let's just look at that and make sure you can, you know, grasp that uh, concept there going in. And uh, so let's see, pull up another. It's probably hiding behind door number one or two or three. Here we go. Okay. So if I go in and I buy 10,000 units, which is that mini lot, at $1 a pip, at the rate of $1.5357 per one pound, that's $15,357 I'm in control of, okay? And then most FX brokers will give you a 50 to one margin. That means you put up $307, okay, and 14 cents, and that does adjust as the, uh, the instrument itself changes, but you just put up $307 just to initiate one of these trades that we initiated with $18. Okay, just one. So if you wanted to go in and do 10 of them, which would be considered a full lot, you'd put up $3,071. What do we do? We put up $18 a contract. We put up 180. So we put up 180 to control how much in currency. Okay, well, knowing that the uh, spot rate right now is 1.5357 times 100,000, because 10 of them, with $180, we're controlling $153,570 in buying power. Wow, that's, that's insanely massive leverage, okay? But our risk is only $180 less than just one mini lot. We're doing 10, less than just one mini lot of the pound dollar FX. So it amazes me people are like, oh, there's no money in this. Like, actually, there's a whole lot more of the whole lot less risk, okay? 180 bucks is all we're putting up 
control $153,000, and our risk it doesn't go up. You put up that $3,000 on the pound dollar to do a, a, a full lot, which is 10 mini watts. If it goes against you, you have to put that money up too. Every tick against you, you got to put up another $10. Okay, so if it goes up 20 ticks, you got to put up another 10 times. You got to put up another 200 bucks. The amount you have to put up on this Nadex trade never changes. $180 is the most I have to put up on the trade. It's the most I can lose on the trade. Okay? I mean, how how much movement would it take to lose that much on a full lot? At $10 a tick, you're talking 18 ticks? Okay? So, you know, I mean, not a whole lot, right? For you to, I mean, it wouldn't take that much for it to move up. So you actually... Think of this as like you have an 18 tick stop loss, but you don't have to get stopped out of the trade. You can stay in the trade the entire time, and that is your capped risk. Okay? And now, what about exiting? I can exit anytime I want to. All right? Right now, we don't see a lot of movement. Things are sort of slow. We're moving past that bid offer spread, which, you know, right now we're looking at about three pips. Uh, bid offer, which is, you know, it's not like fantastic, but also not horrible. Uh, and, you know, especially with the defined risk, that's people come to me and they're like, oh, well, I don't know, man, because look at that bid offer, this or that. It's it's a dollar higher than what I like. And I'm like, well, okay, let's go look at, you know, at your swim, we're looking at about two pips right now. So for one more pip, I'm going to put up, you know, like a lot less money take on a lot less risk and not have to worry about stops. I mean, that's fantastic. Now, how long can I stay in the trade? I have till three o'clock. Okay, this is a three o'clock expiration contract that I chose. Why did I choose the three o'clock expiration contract? Because it has the most profit potential was one of the main reasons. Okay, so like, I mean, 280 bucks, look at all the other contracts. I can make more money on this contract. Uh, another reason I chose it is because I have more time, right? I got two hours and 12 minutes on this trade to be able to wait for it to work itself out. And there's my profit and loss graph going all the way up, okay? So I have time for it to move on down. I have a lot of profit potential. It was within less than 10 ticks proximity, and I had a goal of, and let's go back and look at that. What was our prox, what, what was our initial you know desired profit target where we'd like to see the market move by three o'clock what seems like a reasonable expectation 32 so if we got in at the average price of 53.52 we think it's going to go down to 53.32 that's a 30 pip move so if based on our average price regardless of what proximity was that's that 30 pip potential profit on the trade how much we're we risking on the trade 18 so if we could make 30 and risk 18, that's a good risk reward. You know, it's not, I mean, it's over one to one. So 150% plus, you know, risk reward on the trade. Our heartbeats don't have to fly up and down. I mean, we know what our risk is. I mean, 180 bucks. I mean, how many times do binary, I mean, especially binary traders out there. Okay, you put up 80 bucks. I mean, that's like putting on two, you know, not even three contracts. And uh, a lot more profit on this side. We'll be right back. If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to diversify your financial portfolio. EverBank's innovative market safe CD can help you diversify while protecting your principal deposit. In fact, EverBank unveiled a new five year market safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. Metal prices are currently low, so this CD could really deliver. Consider the facts you get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. 
And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your principal here as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. No annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Intrigued yet? The July 9th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Steve Rhodes as he teaches techniques on technical analysis using headed recognition, celestial charting, Fibonacci, and other tools. The Trader's Edge, next on TFNN. Okay, so we're just going through and um, looking at these positions, this possibility, this trade setup. And you know you can do this in demo, you can do it in live. So the darker one being demo, that, or the darker one being live, and you know you're able to do it in either either one. Um, and you can do it with defined risk. And of course, I suggest people you know hop in obviously and you know work with demo, see how that works, uh, play with that, understand you know how the contracts move. It's really not as overwhelming as it may seem to begin with. It's uh, pretty simple. I mean, you buy and you sell. If you buy back lower than you sold, then you make money. Um, like, you know, if you sell back higher than you bought, then you make money. Uh, maybe that's pretty much what we're always trying to do in trading, right? Uh, there may be, you know, a little bit of a cap on that profit, but I mean, I'm not really worried about the cap. What's the cap going to go down to 50, 70? Most days, that's not going to be an issue. That's, you know, that's 300 pip range. Okay. So far on the rare ex days that it really caps out on you, it, you're okay. All right. I mean, it's a good thing to maximize the profit on those trades. 
Um, you know, you also can set your take profits in advance. And so to do this, it's pretty simple. You just click on the tickets. And when it opens on up, um, then you'll just go over here on that ticket and you'll say, you know, where do I want to buy back at? So if you want to buy back when it comes on down and hits, you know, 53.30, um, then you can do that now. 53.29 really is the low there. I'm probably going to set it, you know, a few pips above, like 53.33 or so. Uh, you want to account for bid ask spread. So that's a few pips right there. And you want to account for maybe it just not quite touching it, but getting really close. So, you know, 53.55, something like that. But, um, but if we go down here, 53.30, you know, you add, say, five pips to that, 53.35, makes a nice little round number. And we got it at 53.52, so it gives like 28 pips in profit on the 18 pip risk. So 53, and then we're going to put in, like I said, a take profit of 35. And enter that on there. We place that order. And now that'll become a working order for us. Okay, so we can basically we have an 18 pip stop. I'm I'm okay with that. I don't feel like I need to get out early if it goes against me. I got 18 pips. Okay, and I'm going for you know about 28 pips in profit here. So uh, there's nothing left for me to do. You know, uh, you know if I may see if I'm up 18 pips and it's just really oscillating, you know, and I got that one to one. It's like well, okay, I can take off half and eliminate my risk on my other half. That'd be about the only other possibility um, I would be at at that point. And let's see, let's go ahead and set this one over here. We're break even right now. I need that to be updated as well. Um, ah, okay. Um, then we go over here and we do the same thing. So on demo, I really want to get that screenshot of that break even. It's just going to keep disappearing as soon as I hit the button, isn't it? Um, Let's see here on demo. Right again. And let's see if I get it this time. There we go. So I'm working on you know, just everything I can do to make these scanners better, more user friendly. And somebody sees a dash, they may not know what that dash means. Okay. Um, come on, one more time. Okay, I think we got it this time. There we go. <laughs> All right, now um, let's go ahead and put our take profit also on our demo ticket here. So we'll get that one up, get this thing out of the way. And that's the trade. So we're going to take a profit there at 53.35 is our goal. Hope that trade works out well for you if you're following along, and y'all have a great day. Thank you. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.